Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Sony 50mm f2.8 macro lens for the Sony E-mount system. Now Sony have released yet another 50mm lens and this time it's in the form of a macro. Now this looks like it's going to be great for anyone who shoots food photography or even product photography and it joins the Sony 90mm f2.8 G series as a macro specific lens. Now today I have it mounted on my Sony a7R Mark II so stick around because I'm going to give you a quick tour of the lens and at the end of the video I'll let you know what I personally think of it. The 50mm f2.8 has a plastic and metal construction. It has a metal focus ring and a metal mount. On the side there is a focus switch to change between autofocus and manual focus, a focus hold button and a focus distance limiter. The first option is to use the lens's full autofocusing range. You can also limit it from 30cm to infinite and the last option is to allow the lens to focus from 16cm to 30cm. It accepts 55mm filters, and in case you are wondering, the lens does not come with a lens hood. Although one of the good things with this lens is that it is dust and moisture resistant. Now the lens weighs approximately 236 grams, and while that's nowhere near heavy, I don't imagine a lot of people using this lens as a walk around lens. But if you do intend to use it, I do suggest using the focusing limiter, just so it reduces the hunting time. Now one of the reasons you will buy this lens is because of its macro capabilities. It can focus on objects as close as 16 centimeters and has a magnification ratio of 1 to 1, making it a true macro lens. It also extends to about 2 centimeters from the body when it's at its minimum focusing distance. Autofocusing is slow but given its macro capabilities it's more of a common trait. You can also hear the motors in the lens when using autofocus. Now, there's no image stabilization with this lens, so I do recommend shooting at a shutter speed fast enough to prevent any blur, or simply using a tripod which would alleviate the issue. Also, using this lens with Sony's ring light does give you some added lighting for different types of shots. In terms of image quality, it's extremely sharp when stopped down, and I got some pretty decent out of focus blur when shooting at f2.8. I did notice a bit of vignetting and chromatic aberration when I was shooting wide open with the A7R Mark II, but it's not a huge issue. Shooting with the 50mm f2.8 is a strong lens when shooting close up, but it can also be used as a standard lens with zero distortion. Also the contrast and colours were surprisingly good out of a relatively cheap lens. Now all these photos were shot in RAW and then converted to JPEG. The Sony 50mm f2.8 is a lens I find a lot of people using for food photography, uh, product photography and even people wanting a general standard prime lens that is affordable with macro capabilities. While it's certainly not fast to autofocus, I would say manual focus is more your friend but the only thing I really hate about it is that it takes so many turns to get what you want in focus sometimes. In terms of image quality, it's very sharp, especially when you stop down to about f5.6. And while it's no 90mm f2.8 macro, it's definitely a lot cheaper than that lens. And I would recommend anyone who wants to step inside the world of photography to definitely consider this. Now, if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more Sony lens reviews and tutorials. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more photo updates and sample photos and also take a look at the description below for more information. Now until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching. And this is a great move for Sony because it actually fills the... So stick around because I'm going to take you through a lens... Lens? Oh, nice breeze. 
just using the focusing limiter just to reduce hunting time. Mm. Mm. In terms of image quality, it is very good. Stuff. I'm... Bleh.